Hey party people, this is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. We're in the Philippines. <laughs> Dude, Shamu from Hobo Venture. And it's your Friday morning, but guess what? It's our Friday, Friday night. night. Mm. And I should take a shot of my new making brandy of number one Filipino drink. <laughs> yeah, and she, she just mixed it up. It's three dollars a bottle, so if, if you're getting tight on booze and uh, you have to visit her webpage, YouTube Hobo Ventures, YouTube Bag, uh, Chung Hoi, and it's in the links below here. And by the way, you need to subscribe to her channel. We need to get her numbers up so she can monetize her channel. So. Thank you for who subscribed to my YouTube channel. I'm doing my best. Yeah, she's doing good. And by the way, I just hit 16,000 a few days ago. So thank you so much. We really appreciate that. Congratulations. Thank you. I dream for you. All You're right. not drinker. <laughs> so, uh, We've been holding out on you uh, because we didn't know what our electric could cost, but uh, now we'd like to tell you what it uh, costs per month to live in Dumagate. Uh, as you know from my prior posts, I talk about $800 a month for one person, and now we're going to tell you what it costs for the two of us to live. Not an estimate, but what we actually paid. Yes. And of course, Chung Hui is in charge of the numbers. She keeps track of everything. You know, Asian, Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's the... <laughs> it's a <like> Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You silly girl. Okay. So, let's start. Yeah. Go ahead. You, you pull the first number. Uh, our rent here is for thirty days is four hundred and seven dollars. So per day is thirteen point five U.S. dollar. Yeah, and we're in social distancing, so you're not going to hear social distancing. So you're not going to hear any restaurant numbers today. <laughs> Uh, but we've been living at large at the grocery store. We spent five hundred and forty-four dollars for an entire month, and mostly because we eat the uh, aspect food. Yeah, we. I preach all the time about you need to shop in the local market, but we noticed that in the local market in, in Dumaguete that all the locals are really comfortable being near each other, and so we've been trying to social distance. So we've been going to the expensive expat market. Um, and Not over there. Our cheese, our you know, drink and everything, uh, juice is all is important uh, good. Right. <laughs> it's not local good. Yeah, it's sort of been our it's been our way of cheating uh, <laughs> during the social distancing. Uh, so we've been eating, like she said, more ice cream, more cheese. We've been living it up at home here. Cheese is like double, triple price, and the local cheese, you know, that we bought. Oh, and it's it's double, triple the U.S. prices too. So I mean, we easily could knock a hundred or two hundred dollars off this if we were eating fresh fruits and vegetables, yeah. local and rice and that kind of thing, which is yeah. often more our style. But at the same token, we go to restaurants more usually, which we haven't been doing. And so uh, maybe it's six of one, half a dozen than the other. So that's groceries. So the alcohol, <laughs> because of that, they just lifting up the alcohol band, you know, so I just got my so it's only twenty dollar. Yeah, we spent twenty dollars bit uh, for the month of May. And on this only alcohol. like three dollar, three dollar fifty yeah. cent, you know. And if you're drinking a fifth, a, a fifth at twenty dollars, that's seven uh, per month. So that would be uh, what is that? Two per week, roughly. So yeah. it's not like we're skimping on booze. Yeah. Um, let's see what else. Uh, we know what our electric is now. We told you. What our rent is, our, le our electric has turned out to be $51 a month. Yes, it's about 11 peso per kilowatt. Kilowatt, yeah. And so we use AC and so our cooking, also we use the electric cooking stuff, you right, know, not right. the gas stuff. Yeah. yeah, but we use gas too. Not that much, mostly we use outside. That's true. Yeah, yeah. the cooking one, the it's electric It's been warm, stuff. it's the warm time of year, so we, we, on yeah. we only cook rarely inside, that's true. Yeah. So. What's the next item? Um, local transport. Local transportation. That means the jeepneys and the tricycles. We haven't been renting a motorcycle because we're sitting around the house. Uh, normally, those are whatever, 80 bucks a month or something. Yeah. But we're not paying anything for that. Our local transportation is only $13 in the month of May. Is the, we are taking the tricycle because tricycle, the, yeah. actually tri tricycle is very cheap. It's only 12 pesos per person to go to the downtown. It's about 4 kilometers. But yeah. Daniel is paying like 50 pesos to 100 pesos for one way, you know? Yeah, I just feel bad because they're... Um, they don't make that much money usually and now they can't even pile people in the thing. So. I like to tip them a little more. They're trying to feed their family or whatever. So uh, so we're paying a little more for that. But $13, I mean, I'm not going to cry myself to sleep at night for tipping a little bit. Uh, we haven't been going to restaurants, but we were able to spend $8 
Is that from our trips to McDonald's? Or? Yeah, we trip to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Chung keeps track of all this stuff. Um, and then uh, we spent uh, $8 on a SIM card. Yes, $8 for SIM cards for one month, the electric, uh, the data and the phone call and unlimited uh, tax. Yeah. yeah, and our, our, our rent here is, 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 some of the Filipinos are going to say, your rent's crazy high. Uh, it's because we're, uh, we're renting by the month. Many of them that move here, they rent by the, uh, by six month or one year lease. So they'll be quoting you a hundred less. 200 less maybe, uh, whereas I said we quoted 407. It's not unusual for somebody only to pay a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, a and in, we found it is very last minute, it's less than 24 hours, and we got like two bedroom here, big space, and security. Yes, and yeah. I'm good to paying this. This is, uh, I think this is uh, uh, one of the lower price uh, rent that we ever Short term pay. rentals, yeah. I mean, yeah, they, they really rental. gouge new people that have come here for a few weeks or a few days. Mm -hmm. And this is, but this is it's pretty reasonable. In fact, I'll, we'll show it to you at the end of the video. How's that? Um, and so the total comes to. Um, one thousand and fifty-one dollars. Uh, by the way, uh, I'll put a link to these numbers. Uh, just click the link below this YouTube video where it says more information. Come down there, click that, and you'll see these numbers, and uh, they'll be set out for you. Now, there's a few things in this uh, in this we have not included uh, because we don't know if you'll need them, and now we'll cover those. I mean, there's other things you'll probably need. And thing you know that uh, you'll want that we, that we didn't buy and that we'll want that you didn't buy. We'll just let you know what they are, so you know exactly what we spent for the month of May. I spent for the bikini. And yeah. How many bikinis did you get? Three. Only three? And let me show them. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought you got more than three, but um, these are bikinis that would sell in the U.S. for ten dollar to. $20. No, no, that's in Malaysia. In the U.S., these would be $30 to, to $80, even $100 per bikini. Oh, yeah, I saw the same thing is in U.S., uh, the website, but uh, here it's more cheaper. They just changed the brand. So I bought these ones for, for about $4. You will see for my future. Yeah, future. watch our videos. You'll see you're wearing these at the beach. Yeah, so and so I spent these ones. It's, uh, yeah, it's like uh, a $3 thing, so... Maybe you're not interested or not, but some of the uh, freemans, uh, they will be interesting or that. So oh, you yeah, can, sure. You can uh, purchase it in, in well, the Well, men shopping. are interested in bikinis, but they want to see the bikini yeah. on you. That's the but difference. women would like to see the quality of a bikini. Yeah, and what's interesting about um, when you're outside of the West, if you, if you will, when you're in places like the Philippines or Vietnam or, you know, different part of the world where intellectual property rights are not so strongly enforced, a bikini that might be $70 or $30 in the U.S., you know, would be $3, $4 here. What they do is they run the factory, uh, whatever, 12 hours a day for the brands, and then they run it another four or five hours and sell bikinis out the back door without the mark. And you don't need to pay in advance. You pay on the cash on yeah, delivery. Yeah, these are delivered to our house and you hand them cash. So. Yes. So the second Was that $3 uh, each? Uh, yeah, about okay. 3 to $4 okay, go ahead. each. So it's your... Oh, yeah, I bought some protein. Uh, I've been try As you know, I've been trying to lose weight. And uh, so this is one of those big fat protein babies here. So 60 bucks. Yes. $60. And um, yeah, that's all. And uh, actually, our drinking water is already included inside the, our uh, grocery. Yeah, we, we don't drink any tap water. We drink... Uh, reverse osmosis yeah and it's very cheap also it's about like 35 dollars for 20 liter yeah yeah so this is 35 peso that is five peso is about 75 us dollar yeah cents 75 cents us dollar. yeah yeah so that's what everything we spent money on so we I, I know some of you have seen the thing but for those of you who haven't let's show let's show them the apartment real quick is that all right <laughs> <laughs> i think uh <laughs> yeah they already see on your video. I know, but, but these might be new people. New baguette. <gasps> okay, let's just show them real quick. We'll give them the quick quick rundown. Um, so we're in the living room now. That's where we work. We have like our workstation we're just sitting at. Uh, there's my computer and Chunk's computer. And there's windows everywhere. We have them closed so people can't watch us do a video. But big screen TV. Uh, this is our bedroom. We have, we have a big bed here with AC, mosquito net. Uh, we have a nice little... 
side door here, a lot of greenery, uh, and uh, it's, it's a totally self-contained cottage. As you can see, it has um, a thatched roof, thatched palm roof. There's a second bedroom over here. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's a beautiful place. And then, so beyond the, beyond the living area, as I said, with the TV and our work area, there's a big kitchen. Oh, you want to show the bathroom first? Okay, we'll show them the kitchen first. You have a sink here. Um, it came with, there's a safe, stove, gas stove top, um, refrigerator, uh, microwave, rice cooker. And this is just a temporary place. It's fully equipped. Then we have a patio area out here. This is, she was talking about the electric. Yeah. You don't want to. They didn't see that. They, they, they haven't seen that. Okay. Yeah. It's one of these. You don't want to cook indoors when you're in Southeast Asia. And there's a there's a washing machine. You can hear it. Hear that noise? That's running ne oh, behind this grass area. A lot of greenery here. It's very pretty, and it's it's a farmhouse feel to it as you can see. Let's show them that big bathroom. When's the last time you saw a, um, a pedestal sink? And well, I guess maybe if you haven't been to the Philippines, this, this is a rarity here. Um, you see them all over the U.S. But and the toilet. And this is my friends. Is why we don't worry about toilet paper in in the Philippines. These are all over Southeast Asia. Asia. So people have clean butts here. We're using toilet paper in the U.S. Kind of wiping it off. It's not as clean. Trust me. Well, that's our home. We've been here social distancing now for three months. Yeah. Just a reminder, you have to go watch her make the local drink here. It's Friday night. And uh, <laughs> maybe you can make it at home there after you watch her make it. It's uh, Chung Hoi. Click, either click the link below this YouTube video. You'll see Chung Hoi's uh, YouTube channel, and it's going to go up there today. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.